Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am about to do your reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is a weekly reading, and it's intended to be a love reading. Um, this may not resonate with you, okay? It might not resonate one tiny bit, okay? Because this is not a private reading. This is a general reading for hundreds and thousands of people, okay? This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these, so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. There we go. I will zoom this in as soon as I get them uh, laid out, just to make sure that it is correctly positioned to the camera. Oh my gosh! Holy shit! I don't even think I need to move that around. Uh, maybe just a I don't really think I do. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. So, the basis of your reading is the Five of Pentacles. Many of you are feeling insecure, whether financially or emotionally. There is a feeling of insecurity here. Feeling like you're on thin ice. You're about to crash through. Holy shit. You know, I don't know. Some of you um, have a new welling of emotion for somebody. There could be new love. There could be a new feeling of love. Definitely, with the Page of Cups and the Lover's card, there could certainly be a new love in your life or a new feeling of love or a new attraction that has just knocked your socks off for some of you, you know, and you could be stuck in a, a relationship or a partnership right now, but now all of a sudden you have these feelings for somebody else and it's like, oh my God, what the hell, how am I going to handle this? Now, this is resonating with somebody, and it's not with somebody else, because that's the way it is with general readings. Keep that in mind. Many of you are looking for happiness. You're looking for a lot of happiness, and you're not going to settle for anything less, okay? Some of you are settling for something less because you're scared, all right? You're scared of being alone. Codependency is an issue here, okay? Many of you have to make a decision and you're procrastinating. You're not doing anything about it for fear of being alone. It takes strength. It takes determination. It takes willpower to follow your path. Sometimes you really have to step into the unknown to bring peace back to your life. You do. Sometimes you have to step outside of your comfort zone to bring your own happiness. Maybe that's a lesson you need to learn, to step outside of your comfort zone, okay? Many of you are fighting a battle that you are never gonna win currently, okay? You're going through something that's going nowhere, all right? And you know it, but you don't wanna be alone, so you're just gonna stay there until somebody comes and rescues you, okay? You're looking for that rescuer. Now, this isn't for everybody because, you know, it's, this is a general reading. It's not just for you, okay? This reading is not just for you. It may resonate entirely, but it wasn't intended for just one person, okay? I feel like many of you need to be direct. You need to do the right thing for you. You need to follow your own path, and you need to listen to your inner guide, okay? Many of you are seeking this guidance, and you're receiving it through your inner guide, but you're denying it. I see that you, many of you are ignoring your inner truth, okay? You're seeking the knowledge. You're receiving it, but you're ignoring it, all right? So, just saying, I, I just need to throw that out there. There is some power struggles, and they, the power struggles could be with another person, or they could be with yourself. You could be struggling with your inner conflicts, you know, and I feel like many of you 
are resisting a change all because of codependency. You know, I don't want to be alone. You're not, you, you know, you're not taking the practical approach because, for fear of being alone. That's a big deal here. All right. So the trick is, is that you really have to master your emotions. And most of the time you guys do that very well. Okay. You may um, be mastering them on the outside, but not the inside. Okay. It's really, really time to master your emotions on the inside. Okay. I see that you guys want to head in the right direction, but... <laughs> You know, there's there's a lot of unnecessary drama and conflict here. Your insecurities are feeding your unhappiness this week. Okay? It's time to let go. It's time to let go. It's time to let the universe drive. Have faith. Okay? Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your future. Have faith in what's to come. That it will be the best thing for you. Okay? Um, I don't know why you're resisting this change. You're resisting letting go, but you are. You have to struggle through it. You must. It's time to look at something from a new perspective. It's time to do the right thing for you. Once you do that, happiness will come. All right? I just have to tell you that. Your insecurities will fade more and more once you stop resisting this change that you so badly want in your heart, okay? So, for some of you, there's a new love coming into your life. Maybe it's happened, maybe it hasn't. Time is fluid with these readings. These are general readings. So, some for some of you, a new love has already entered. For some of you, it could be entering this week. Some of you, it could be next week or even the week after. But the fact of the matter is, you guys have to make a decision. Okay? And I think for many of you, it's between two people. Do I stay in this unhappy, unhealthy relationship situation because I'm scared of being alone? Or do I step outside of my comfort zone, take a stand for myself, bring peace back to my life, and let this new love come in? That's your decision. What are you going to do? All right. I have to tell you that you have to honor yourself. Because if you don't, nobody is going to. All right. With the Hierophant card, it tells me that you have to believe in yourself and you have to follow your own path. All right. You're only blocking true love from coming in by not honoring your needs, okay? <sighs> we have you here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody, uh, Taurus is pretty prominent. We, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is pretty prominent. We also have Leo a couple times. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well, but the most prominent signs are Taurus and Leo and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We do have Virgo and Capricorn once, and we have Aries, or not Aries, we don't have Aries, we don't. We have the air signs, and that's what happened. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but we only have them once. So prominently is Taurus, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Leo. Those are the most prominent. Don't quit. Don't quit on yourself. Okay? It's coming. It's coming. Nurture yourself during this time. You need to refocus on your future. It's time to refocus. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. And if you really want to know more, you can watch my Let's Talk live sessions at night. And they often get hidden because sometimes they get out of hand. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. I'm very passionate, and I do let off some F-bombs, so, um, you know, you might be interested in watching those. You may not. 
Um, but they will, many of them get hidden after the fact. If you'd be so lucky to watch them during it, you might, you might, um, find them amusing or helpful, you know, because you never know what's going to come out. So, um, here, you're about, you're going, it's time to forgive. It's time to forgive yourself. Okay. There's definitely some karma here. Somebody has a lesson to learn and it has to do with following their own path. Listening to their inner guide. Listening. When you hear something from your inner guide, from inside, from your gut, from your intuition, don't don't doubt it. Don't deny it. You must take control of your life. Because if you don't, nobody else is going to. I see that you're confused. Probably between two people. It could be a child, could be a child and a lover, could be two lovers, it could be a mother and your partner. There's some confusion here. You need to make a choice between two people, okay? Somebody is bringing you confusion and making you feel out of balance. And karma says that you need to step outside of your comfort zone. It's time for you to wake up. Do the right thing for you. Okay? Acknowledge your progress. Go with the flow. Don't resist the flow. Don't resist the change. All it does is make you feel conflicted. Okay? I feel like many of you um, don't want to lose control of a situation you just don't want to lose control and something is very very heavy and imbalanced and you just can't let it go and part and this is there's a karmic lesson here there absolutely is it's time for you to wake up forgive yourself or the other person if you are feeling a change because I see changes here if you're if say this is just an example and this may be for somebody Okay, exactly. Say you're in a relationship with somebody and it's grown cold. You're not happy. The sex isn't good. There's no love anymore. You're not feeling it. Or perhaps the other person has cheated on you, but you still love them and you can't move on. The lesson here is for you to follow your own path and forgive yourself, forgive the other person. If you are no longer wanting to stay in a situation, that's that's okay. It's okay. You don't have to stay there. There's really nothing to forgive because you have to honor yourself. That's 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 a karmic lesson right there. All right. I see that many of you have some choices to make and it's really confusing you and the advice that I have for you is to make the choice that your heart wants you to make. It does not matter what anybody else thinks. I'm going to get you your angel romance cards. This week is about... Um, insecurity okay and it's about letting go of insecurity feeling comfortable with following your path it's time to end it okay it's time to let go of the insecurities it's time to let go of the heaviness you've been carrying around it's time to let go of the need to control okay a situation it's time to let go of the confusion it's time to look at things from a new perspective and it's going to take strength, and it's going to take willpower, and it's going to take courage, and it's going to take determination to follow your own path to hell with everybody else's. You do what's right for you, and that is your wake-up call.
The first card is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Anybody. Once you extend your lighthearted energy to others, your vibration raises and people are magnetized towards you. Try it. If you're feeling down, extend your lighthearted energy to others, male or female, because you need to raise your vibration. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. We do have the lover's card right under this. I feel like there's a secret that is about to become known. Something is about to become known. Maybe you know it already in your heart, in your inner guide. Maybe you have this attraction to somebody and you know that you have known this person before. And you can't deny it. But you're stuck somewhere that so much that you can't take a step in that direction. Do what you need to do for you. If there is a familiarity with somebody, don't deny it. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, with whoever it is. Maybe it's the person you're stuck with. Maybe it's the person you want to be with. This is for hundreds and thousands of people. Be direct. Talk to these people. Don't hold it in. Once you get it out, the heaviness will be released from your shoulders. Trust me. Let go of your insecurities and honor yourself this week. You're worthy. So Cancer, this is for November 13th through November 19th. And I will talk to you later.